What's up, guys? This is your boy Lando, and I'm back. I know I just, I haven't been posting on. I be saying that I'm gonna post, and I don't. But I haven't had a chats with you guys in a long time, so we're gonna go ahead and do one. So it's not gonna be about photography or cinematography. This 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 little topic is a little more important. Um, it's about your health and uh, shaping your body and transforming yourself. So. I've been working out for almost, oh, seven years. Unlucky number. I've been working out for seven years, and I've been all over the place. But we'll talk about it, run that intro, and yeah, pretty much. Let's go. Oh, yeah, y'all digging the really long hair. Bam! Okay, guys, we're gonna be talking about um, just, just, just some stuff. That's all. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of texts, and I've been getting a lot of people asking me several questions. Some people ask me, "How do I lose weight? How do I lose this stubborn belly fat that I have?" A lot of other people ask me, "How do I gain muscle? How do I gain weight?" So. In, in this video, we're going to be talking about all that, all that stuff um, because I have a platform to actually inform you guys and if I can help anybody by giving them one fact that they need, I'm here for it. And I know that this is not a fitness channel, but without you being healthy, how are you going to be going out there running around taking pictures or taking video? I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get my... Okay, guys, so let's start with the first question. And the first question is, hey, Lando, uh, I've been trying to gain weight for the past year. And for some reason, I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. And I would like your help. So let's, let's, let's answer that question. Um, for anybody that's trying to gain weight or lose weight, it's, it's kind of the same um, strategy, I could say, the same, the same road. It's just different things that you have to do differently. So for you that you're trying to gain weight, um, this is how we're gonna put it, right? I want you to do the first thing. First thing, let's just say you're at 100 pounds, right? And to stay at 100 pounds, you gotta eat um, 2,000 calories a day, right? Let's just say that. That is not at all the true facts. I'm gonna leave the, the calculator for your weight and stuff. If you wanna gain or if you wanna lose, I'ma put it on there and i want you guys to actually go check it out so if you're wondering personally the one that i'm using that's the one that i'm gonna drop and go in there type in your height your weight um how much do you work out do not lie about that because they're gonna give you different numbers so please do not lie about how much you work out you type in all that information it's gonna give you several um <clears throat> several alternatives um for you, it's gonna give you the how to stay at that weight, how many calories you have to be in to stay at that weight. And if you're eating less, it's gonna give you the deficit. So all you have to do, if you're at a certain, um, whatever weight that you are, um, make sure to eat more. That's, that's literally, that's the answer. That's the answer. You gotta eat more, that's it. And I'll tell you why, if you're working out, you're burning calories. And yes, you're gonna be building muscle because your muscles adjust. But if you're not feeding your muscles correctly, so if you're not feeding enough calories or enough protein to your body, your body is gonna start burning or eating up that muscle that you're gaining. So technically, you're wasting your time. So you're not wasting it because you're being healthy and you're being active, but you're not, you're not achieving the goal that you wanna achieve. So if you wanna gain weight, you have to eat more. Literally, you have to count your calories. Cause I, I've had a I had a friend of mine tell me, yeah, I eat a lot, dude. And I'm like, tell me what you eat. He told me what he ate. And I was like, bro, that's that's not even close. Like I'm over here eating almost 3,000 calories. Like I eat like seven meals a day to maintain a certain weight. When I was like 200 something, I forgot how how much I was eating. <clears throat> and he was like, yeah, I'm not even eating close to that. Yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. You have to eat more. Now, if you want to lose weight, 
right? If you're if you're chubby, in my experience, I was chubby. I was 230 pounds in bad weight, guys. Really bad weight. Corona hit me really bad. Uh, they closed the gyms down. I couldn't work out, and I was bulking. It was bulk season, and I kept with my eating uh, habits, and I, I just went off the roads. So for that, I'm literally going to have you go in there. Go in there, go into the calculator, type in your height, type in your weight, type in how much you're working out. They're going to give you a maintenance calorie. Um, and then from there, they're going to give you several things to actually uh, lose pounds. So I believe mine, if, uh, if I really pull it up, it's going to be on the screen right now. Um, for me, where is it at? So for me, I want to be 190. I'm 200 right now, like 200 flat. Yes, I did drop 30 pounds. Booyah! Yes, <laughs> but to maintain my 190, I need to eat 2,634 calories. Uh, if I want to lose, um, like you say, a midway loss, uh, 0.5 pounds a week, I need to drop that at 2,300 calories, uh, more like 24. Uh, weight loss uh, for one pound a week, I would have to be doing 2,100 calories. And if I really want to go crazy and lose two pounds a week, I would have to be in 1,600 calories. But this is at 190 though. So for me, I'm already at a deficit because I'm dropping from 200 to 190. Um, but I'm actually eating less than that. So I'm actually eating about like 2,400 calories to speed that up. Um, I would go crazy, I would go insane, and uh, I would probably only eat like about 1,000 calories when I was uh, 230, and I drop weight really quick. Now, it's not healthy if you don't know what you're doing. So I was, I was taking uh, like the pills and stuff. FBI, open up! for uh, the calcium, the omega-3, um, vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, just so I wouldn't take those extra calories. So I would have my vitamin type of thing already checked out at 55 calories, 65 calories, and uh, I would eat some food so my body has some fuel to burn. But that's extreme, and a lot of people, I don't recommend it. My body is used to it. Uh, my body's a machine, it's, it's, it's a monster. So I'm able to do that without any problem, without my health going crazy. Um, but fasting is a really good way to actually lose the weight. <clears throat> so like you saw here, 1600 calories, that's insane. And that's technically what I was doing, but a little bit crazier. So I wouldn't almost, I wouldn't even eat. So I would literally just be on water. Cause you know how like the body can go like certain weeks or like a week or two weeks without eating so in my head i'm like i don't need eating but i didn't want to you know i was working out and i didn't want my my joints to mess up so i was taking my my pills like my omega-3 my vitamins and stuff like that um i wasn't taking any protein i wasn't doing anything so i lost 30 pounds in a matter of like two to three months two to three months i lost 30 pounds and uh, it's total, totally doable, but you do have to go through some stuff. Okay, guys, so we have uh, my boy right here. He's at wanna gain muscle. Um, this consists also on your calories, but most importantly, you have to, you have to watch how many uh, grams of protein you're eating. So I hear a lot of people saying that you need one gram per, uh, per pound of muscle that you have. A lot of people say uh, half a gram per uh, pound of muscle. So it depends on, on what works for you. I mean, I I personally, I just, I stick to my diet. I, I It seems like it's working. So I'm not 100% on what the, the, the grams of protein is and stuff. I think it's like 64 grams of protein. Um, 64 or 128 I forgot but I personally don't drink protein shakes I don't take creatine I don't take anything of that um, I literally get them off the food now if you want to go ahead um, if you want me to 
look over uh, products and stuff or the products that I do take sometimes I can make another video for you guys but this is not the, the video for it this is about how to get to the goal um, that you want so if you want to gain more muscle you have to eat you have to eat um, depends if you want to gain more muscle as in I want to gain weight as well so let's just say you're 180 pounds right and you want to get as ripped as possible you want to get so much muscle but stay at 180 so in that situation i would just um try to look for foods that are higher in protein <clears throat> chicken salmon um you can also substitute some of that with some protein shakes uh get a little bit more protein in there um, if you're trying to stay at a certain weight if you're trying to go up in weight but mostly muscle you would have to be you would have to uptake the calorie uh, so instead of maintaining at a weight you want to eat a couple more calories so like two to four hundred calories more um, plus a lot of protein as well so that's how you would do that specific uh, thing okay guys the third question is Lando how do I lose weight as quick as I can okay so this is, is going to be a little hard one because not everybody's uh, body is the same. But I'm going to give you my take on that. I believe that fasting is is the quickest way to actually start losing weight. If you do fasting plus working out and eating correctly, so cutting all the sugars out, uh, no juices at all. Literally the only thing that I drink is water. That is it. I don't believe that I drink anything else. Um... I had some uh, some liqueur. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I ain't no capper, but it's not constant. It's I I drank probably in total like eight drinks. I think in the past like shoot, I, I forgot how long ago it's been. But that is it. <clears throat> Other than water, I don't take anything. Do not take anything. Uh, maybe milk. For like my cereal if i want cereal or something i don't know maybe my protein shakes contain milk so i guess you can count that but the only thing that i drink is water if you're trying to lose weight quick fasting workout um do heavy workouts with a lot of weight and don't forget about cardio cardio is really good for your heart um it actually gets your uh your heart pumping so the way i do my cardio if i'm running I rest for like I rest for a minute, I run for a minute. I rest for a minute, I run for a minute. What that is doing is getting my heart rate up, getting it down and bringing it back up. That is going to um make your body actually start uh using fat because if you constantly are running at like a 7 speed or whatever if you're running outside or if you're running a treadmill, whatever you're doing and you, you're constantly running, you're not doing anything. You are hitting your cardio and you are burning calories, but you're not using the the most uh, consistent form of losing that weight, if that's your target. So bring your heart up, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down, and you're gonna start losing fat. So if you're hitting heavy workouts, you're gonna be building muscle. That is the fastest way that you can lose fat. Build muscle on top of that fat. Fuel that muscle with the fat that you have. So. I tell a lot of people, they don't believe me. If you're a bigger person, it's way easier for you to build muscle than a skinny person. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. It's so much easier because you have so much energy stored in already. So if you're a bigger person and you're trying to lose that fat, trust me. Start lifting heavy. You're going to start building that muscle. Uh, lower the calorie deficit that you're eating fast. You're golden, baby. You're golden, baby. You're golden. And that is it guys that that's that's mostly it is um it's pretty simple losing weight um gaining weight is pretty simple a lot a lot of people and a lot of influencers have made it extremely difficult and extremely complicated uh, but it's not it's not i've been working out for seven years now and it's not that <laughs> it's not that hard like it's not that hard um it's not that complicated uh, it's all about consistency. It's all about how much effort you actually put in to actually get to that goal. If it's to gain 30 pounds of muscle or to lose 30 pounds of fat. It's extremely easy. 
<clears throat> the main point is that you have to understand. If you want to gain muscle, eat more than your maintenance calorie. If you want to lose, if you want to lose weight, eat under that maintenance calorie. That is all. That is all. So check this out. A lot of people fail for one reason. They want to stick. They want to stick to their their diets, eating cheeseburgers, eating waffles, and eating all this bad stuff, right? But I'll tell you why. I'll tell you something. I could eat like five meals a day and still be under my deficit. It's crazy. Chicken, um, like baked, not like cooked in oil, like baked chicken, uh, vegetables and stuff like that. They consist of a really low calorie. So like chicken, like a chicken breast, like six ounces of chicken, right? Um, a mixed vegetable, whatever, and a cup of rice, cooked rice. Um, probably under 400 calories. So if I need 20, 2,600, right, I would need, how much would that be? I'll be like around six meals of chicken, rice, and, and uh, mixed vegetables. That's insane, dude. That's, just, that's six meals. You ain't going to be hungry. You're going to be begging, dang, I got to eat this. Cause that's how I was. And I thought I could eat a lot. But I would eat a lot of stuff that wouldn't fill me up. You see, your vegetables, your chicken, your rice, they all they fill you up. You're not going to want to eat. So, but yeah, guys, it was extremely easy. I'm not going to lie to you. It's extremely easy. It's uh, it's not a, a hard um, formula, you know. It's not some some rocket science thing that you have to go through. It's, it's extremely easy, and uh, it actually upsets me, and it's kind of kind of sad that... Uh, influencers and all of these people that are trying to make money they they make it seem like it's so much difficult and it's not it's it's extremely easy um and if you don't believe me i got some facts um you can go look at my old videos uh, when the pandemic happened i was 230 pounds bad weight guys um where was i before that i was 160 pounds I'll show you some pictures. Look look at this picture. That's 160. Look at this one. You see the difference? Ain't no jawline there. Double chance forming on that next one. It's bad. It's really bad, dude. And it was it was just not pleasant at all, you know. Um I, I've always been an athlete. So when I was at 230 pounds and I was really limited. And I caused my like uh, my first serious injury, which was uh, tearing my hamstring because my legs were not used to running at full speed like I used to with 230 pounds on. It was bad. It was bad. My health was bad. Everything was bad. And that's the reason that I'm talking about it because coronavirus is, is serious, dude. I, I caught it and I'm thankfully good because I, I caught it in the later rounds where I was actually getting healthier, building my immune system, and it still hit me really hard. I'll tell you something, if I catch again, it ain't gonna do nothing to me. Cause uh, I've been loaded up on my vitamin. I, I've been loading up on my vitamin C. I've been loading up on my vitamin D, which a lot of people are under that. Make sure to take your vitamin D. Drink water, extreme, a lot of water. <clears throat> and if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Cause like I, I for real, I love helping you guys. Um, I, I personally, I, I haven't felt so proud of myself. Cause uh, I've never been above two hundred pounds, and uh, I was actually looking forward to going up to two hundred pounds in healthy weight, with which I was doing before COVID hit. Um, I was doing extremely well. I was gaining. I was looking really buff, but not like toned because I was bulking, but they closed the gyms down and I kept eating like I was eating and it turned into like a really bad situation for me. And I would be out of breath coming up the stairs. I'll be out of breath just running a normal jog. And it was extremely bad. So if you guys want any help, if you guys need some counseling on what foods you should eat, stuff like that, ask me. I'll make a video even. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. I hope that you guys liked the video. I'm sorry that I haven't been posting, but there's a lot of stuff that's been happening. Um, 
as you guys know, I, I made another business. It's my detailing, my car detailing business. I've been learning a lot of stuff. I've been learning how to paint correct. I've been learning how to wax. Um, I'm actually getting into the to the ceramic coatings. We're learning all of that. So I'm extremely uh, excited for that. Sadly, winter's coming, so I'm not sure how many people are gonna want their cars clean. Um, and we, we get really bad uh, winters. So if it's like below 35, I can't work on a car because then my water gets frozen and all this stuff gets messed up and it's just a bad situation for the detailing business. So, but we're working through it. Um, I've been extremely busy. That's the reason I haven't been posted. And also I was sick, not like extremely, I didn't feel sick at all, but I couldn't talk because I had like phlegm and stuff. So I wasn't gonna make a video and make you guys listen to that. But <clears throat> I was sick. I'm telling you, bro, I'm, I'm loaded up on my vitamins. I don't feel anything now. Like, I get sick, and I'm like, yup, just a normal day. I just couldn't talk, that's all. But, um, yeah, that is it, guys. So let me know if you guys if you guys have any questions. I'm sorry that it's not a video about photography or cinematography, but I do want to make a video. I do want to make, like, a cinematic video. I do have a skit going on, and um, I'm excited, but I do need an actress and maybe an actor because I don't, it'll be weird. You know, it'll be weird. I personally want to be in control of the camera, and that's why. So if you guys know of any actors or actresses around the area, Kansas City, let me know. Let me know if you want to be in my video. Let me know. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Deuces. <sighs>